nothing wrong with uh, bringing people in and out of the country? You don't think that people need to be screened better? You don't think we need to crack down a little bit? Come on. I don't know if I've persuaded anybody, but I'll tell you what, there has been thousands of people that have been raped, have been killed, have been maimed. Uh, and here's the other uh, side of the whole thing. We have trillions of dollars that we put out for programs for people that could care less about us and don't plan on making a single dime for Social Security or Medicaid. Could care less. And they'll hold a sign saying, illegal and unafraid. I've seen those in protest, picketing and protesting with signs like that from Orlando to Los Angeles, from L.A. to New York to Boston, with signs saying that very thing, undocumented, illegal, and unafraid. That's not American, folks. That's not the country that I was born in, and I don't believe that. Go somewhere else. But that's not American. That's not melding into our culture, into our society. And we got a lot of loafers, deadbeat loafers in our country that are not contributing. They're just hard workers that do come in from a lot of places that I meet in this city that I do the show out of in Tampa and very diverse. But hardworking people from Colombia, Cuban people, Puerto Ricans, hardworking people. Yes, even Mexicans. They're not all bad. People are not all bad. So this is not, you know, an anti-Mexican thing or anti-Latino thing. It has nothing to do with that. It's about the laws of the land here. And if you can't obey the law here, well, geez, what's going to happen when you go back home and you break the law? It'd probably be a whole lot worse. You got more rights here when you get locked up. Geez. Like I said earlier in the broadcast, in Cook County, you can order a pizza. <laughs> yeah, you can order a pizza now, but you can learn to trade, which is a good thing. But it's just only in America, folks. And, and as long as you have the this bureaucracy of, of uh, the bureaucrats uh, pulling these strings, uh, allowing the snowflake liberals to be able to propagate and stand um, with these illegals. And as long as these people do this, they're going to have a safe haven. They feel like they're doing justice, and yet they're actually making our communities and our cities weaker and more frail. And they think they're doing a good deed, but they have no idea the damage that they're doing to our country. They're not bringing more prestige. Again, there's people that come over here, they get it from day one. They're ready to put their right hand up and swear on the Bible, so swear on their flag, so the, the, the pledge allegiance to the flag, make this their own country. They love this country. I can't tell you how many people I talk to that tell me they just love the opportunities in America. I talked about this Jamaican guy a couple days ago. Built a really nice business for himself. And you know what? You can see the joy in his face because he, know, he knows where he came from. And uh, he knows uh, where his folks uh, are, are, you know, in, in poverty. And the money that uh, he's able to make right now and the opportunity that he's able now to provide for his family, uh, he's living the American dream. Now, he's not a millionaire. He works hard, but he's got something. That's the thing. Uh, a Jamaican guy had told me years ago, he said, even the poor have something. Here in America, yeah, they have a flat screen TV. <laughs> they have their electric paid for. May not be living in the best dwellings, but some do. Some of the folks that uh, live in some of this these housing, they actually have uh, six or seven welfare checks they're able to still pick up from out of state. Driving escalates. And yet they don't work a single day in their life. Or they have a slight disability. Somebody signed off on their disability. I'll never forget, and I'll tell you what, I, I hope that this is imprinted in my mind for as long as I live. There's people that are out there that can work. Now, if you have something that you just, you're just debilitated, you know, mental illness or uh, physical disability, an ailment that you just you can't work, 
and I'm not dissing you. I'm not against you, but there are people that can work. This guy had cerebral palsy, the worst I've ever seen, and uh, it, it wasn't pretty to look at. And he was trying to get on a bus. This is about the time that Kaylee was born, my daughter. She's now 14 years old. This guy was struggling to get to the bus, rushing to the bus. He didn't want to miss the bus. And I just happened to ask the guy where he was going. What was he in a big rush for? Where was he headed? He said he was going to work. He says, I have a family to support. And I'll tell you what, it wasn't very pretty for what he had. But I thought to myself, man, what do I have to complain about? I can walk normally, uprightly. My arms work right. I can speak. I can do. I can do good things. I can help people. Folks, we are blessed here to live in America. Don't forget that. I'm Keith Allen for the people at Our Flies. If you like the show, please do me a favor and share the show with somebody that may may not know about it. Maybe your radio station that may not carry it. And if your station does carry it, thank them and thank the sponsors of this radio station. Remember, we're 100% listener supported. We need your support to stay on the air. Our website, ForThePeopleShow.com. I'm Keith Allen once again saying all the best. May God bless.